Now with 100% more ducks! Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and let's talk about automating the inscriber from AE2. Uh, you've got the little setup here below me that uh, I made a video on, and it works great. It really does, and it works great in lots of different mods, but uh, can it be done better? Yes, it can. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up in such a way that it takes a, f a little bit uh, fewer endoit conduits on there and probably a little bit easier to, to figure out how it works. So let's go ahead and do that. This little chunk over here really doesn't matter how you have it set up. I've got storage, I've got a controller, uh, energy coming in and, and some crafting here, plus a way of accessing that. Whatever, as long as you have those components, you're good. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the rest of the stuff is what I have already shown in my first video. And let's take a look at how we could make this better. So, uh, item wise, we're going to need some cable. I'm going to go with the light blue here. Uh, an interface, five inscribers, some sort of way of storing things. Got a diamond chest, nine basic item filters, and a uh, and then we're going to need a bunch of item conduits, and I didn't count them. Uh, and a charger, that's kind of optional. We'll need the presses, we'll need the items that will go into them. And let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and fire off. I'll go away, you. A uh, couple out to here. And then I'm going to stick the interface on top of that. And let's go ahead and put the inscribers, just like we did the last time. Right there, there's all those. All right, and we're going to put the diamond chest up on top. Next, let's go ahead and on this back end, I'm going to say is the input section for the item conduits. So to get that to work, we need to turn off the, the red zone signal. And we'll do that for, not that, that one. And we'll do that for all five of the inscribers. There we go. So now they will automatically extract anything in them straight out. And this guy is going to have to be switched into an insert instead of an extract. So that will pull anything we generate from these guys right out. And that's exactly the same as we've got going over there. Uh, let's take a quick look at the, the this set here, which will combine the various pieces. To get that working, we're going to go ahead and throw the conduits here and underneath and there. Now uh, I like you know over here I'm using the the red channel and let's go ahead and do that here too. Turn off that and set that to red. This will need to be an insert and again set that to red. And we'll do the bottom. We'll go ahead and set that as an insert and no not brown red. That's what I want. Here's where we get into a little bit uh, tricky, but it's not very hard at all. This piece here, instead of setting it to insert or extract, we're going to do both. It's going to be both in and out, and it's going to be inserting with red. And if you just hit this little piece here, you can see the extract of green is still working. That allows both the in and out to happen on the same piece, which simplifies things a whole bunch. So for these four, we just need one piece there, and that connector, I'm going to go ahead and disable this piece because we don't need that here. And let's go ahead and give it a different color. And I'm going to go with blue. Let's set it so that it will automatically extract. And then we need to set these so that the insert is also blue. So let's go ahead and set that. Blue, insert, blue, insert, and blue. And the last one, insert, and blue. Now to get those to work right, we need to get these set up. So I tend to do alphabetically. There is the inscriber and there is the, well, that's the calculation. That's the engineering. Here's the logic and there is the silicon. So this coming out here is going to need an item filter. So if we put that item filter there, it is going to do pure certus and diamonds and gold and silicon. And then we need to spin around here and we're going to put an item filter in here and this one takes the pure and this next one that will take the diamond. 
this one will take the gold and the last one of course is going to take the silicon so those are all set to import now this one here this guy is going to be pulling out stuff that is ready to be crafted into the the final processors and we also need to add in there the redstone all right so that uses five which is exactly what we need for the basic so we don't have to go advanced this one on top is going to get these three pieces here those are the circuits that we had printed up from the other and that's all we need this one here is going to take the redstone and the bottom one right there is going to take the last and that's going to take our printed silicon you can switch these two if you want it really doesn't matter but uh, that's it that is configured and it works and we already put uh, the, the press plates in place this is done one of the benefits of this ugh, nice little lag bit there but uh, one of the benefits of this uses fewer of the item conduits so that's always nice and you can also while it's running take a look in the front and see all the cool stuff that's happening so let's take a quick gander over here uh, this is the diamond chest so I'm gonna move all my patterns up to it and we'll ignore that for now but let's go ahead and say I want to craft uh, 10 of each of these. Well, we can only do one at a time because I only have the one processor there. But if we jump over here, we can take a quick look. There is the pure silicon, or the pure certus, and there's the silicon. It's getting processed, and as soon as they are being run, there they go. Here's all the stuff uh, being processed into here. As long as you're making a smaller amount of things than than fills your chest you're good to go with this setup uh, you know it's not the the only way that you can set this up but I think this is hands down the simplest way to to do this so yeah there you go a new slightly improved method of uh, setting up the inscribers using just ender IO as a, an extra piece this has been grok the duck farmer here thanks for watching Bye.